Hey guys, in this video we'll be covering about EPF withdrawal, so one of the way that you can use to reduce your capital to buy a house. So the common three housing withdrawal that most of the people will know is the buying house or build house. The second one will be the reducing housing loan and the third one will be the monthly installment. So there is actually fourth and the fifth one related to housing withdrawal. The fourth one will be the flexible housing withdrawal accounts and then the fifth one will be related to Prima. So today we will go through the first four and the subsequent the Prima related one will be covering in another video. So the first four common one will be the three, the top three, which is well, you have to start with the buy or the build house first. So if you have already utilized it in one of your house, then you are not eligible until you sell it. So if you have not utilized it and your account has sufficient balance, then you can actually make a withdrawal for buying house or you build a house. So the second one would be to reduce housing loan. So after you already made a withdrawal for buy house or build house, and subsequently when your account to builds up and there's enough balance for you to make another withdrawal for reducing housing loan then you can also use that to actually pay down your housing loan and the third one would be you can make um housing withdrawal for monthly installment payments so that means once you make a withdrawal that amount of money will actually bank into your account and then you use that uh, you use that money to actually pay for the uh, housing loan installment the three types of housing withdrawal that we have just discussed is about to reduce the capital or reduce your loan or reduce your monthly installment. But the fourth one, the flexible housing withdrawal, is actually helps you to increase your housing loan. When you want to buy a house but your housing loan is insufficient to cover the purchase price. So you can use this method to actually increase your eligibility of housing loan but how does it work is it will set aside a certain portion of your account to balance to this flexible housing uh, withdrawal and then this account is actually treated as the income this account is actually helping you to obtain a higher housing loan in another term it is called ring fencing but this account cannot be used for other withdrawal purposes like housing, education, and hutch. And the savings that you contribute to EPF for this purpose is actually treated as an income. So that is why you can use this income to justify for a higher housing loan. All right, if you want to find more information about the withdrawal we just discussed, you can drop into our page in Facebook and also EPF website. All right, that pretty much sums up the part one of uh, EPF housing withdrawal. In the next couple of videos, we'll be still covering things like you need to know before you buy a house and uh, we will be covering the EPF withdrawal related to Prima housing. And we need your continuous support to motivate us to produce more useful and informative content for you. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. Thank you so, so, so much. Bye-bye.